हाई लर्नर आई एम गुरुदेव सिंह राणा असिस्टेंट डायरेक्टर कंप्यूटर आईटी उत्तराखंड ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी हल्द्वानी नैनीताल सो लर्नर इन दिस लेक्चर यू विल लर्न अबाउट माय एस हाउ टू इंस्टॉल माय एस यू विल लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू रन जी यूजिंग टॉम कैट सर्वर लर्नर इन लास्ट लेक्चर यू लर्न अबाउट जावा सर्वर पेज जी एस पी कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ जे डी बी सी जावा डेटा बेस कनेक्टिविटी हाउ टू कनेक्ट जी एस पी विद डेटा बेस यूजिंग जे डी बी सी यू ऑल्सो लर्न अबाउट द बेसिक स्टेप टू कनेक्ट डेटा बेस नाउ डेज इन वेब टेक्नोलॉजी इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू सेव कंटेंट इन डेटा बेस और टू टू डिस्प्ले कंटेंट इन द ब्राउजर so how we get dynamic content to maintain content we use database database is collection of information that is organized in a way that it can be easily accessible managed and updated there are lot of database like sql server oracle and mysql here we will learn about my sql so what is my sql first uh, we discuss about my sql my sql is a popular choice among open source rd bms among open source database my sql is most popular database in use today my sql is as one of the most reliable reliable and performative database it was named after its founder founder's daughter mai and is known for organizing data into one or more data tables in which data types are related to each other these relations help structure data as sql is a language programmers used for creation modification and extraction of data from a relational database mysql uses stand alone clients that allow user to interact with mysql and also to use it with other programs for applications that need relational database capabilities mysql's reputations for reliability has led to its inclusion in the popular lamp stack lamp means linux apache mysql and python perl or php and is also used as the default dbms in popular cms options like drupal joomla php bb and wordpress or many more so here i will uh, discuss how to install mysql so in this slide you will learn about uh, how to install mysql to install mysql first we need to download msi installer the simplest and recommended method is to download mysql installer for window from uh, the below url this is dev.mysql.com we can download installer from there and after uh, we can execute execute that msi file you can download any of two if you have good internet connectivity you can download web community otherwise you can download second one so here i am selecting community version after clicking on download below uh, window display on your screen so skip this window by clicking on no thanks just start my download link after downloading the zip file unzip it and double click the msi installer .exe file in first step you can it will ask for choosing a setup type choose full setup type this will install all mysql products and features click on next button to continue 
आफ्टर क्लिक ऑन कंटिन्यू बटन दिस विल ओपन चेक रिक्वायरमेंट विजार्ड द इंस्टॉलर चेक्स इफ योर पी सी हैज द रिक्वायरमेंट्स नीडेड इफ देयर इज सम फेलिंग रिक्वायरमेंट्स क्लिक ऑन ईच आइटम टू ट्राई टू रिजॉल्व दैम बाय क्लिकिंग ऑन द एग्जीक्यूट बटन दैट विल इंस्टॉल ऑल रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑटोमेटिकली आप प्रदेश क्लिक ऑन नेक्स्ट बटन दिस विल ओपन इंस्टॉलेशन विजार्ट दिस विल डिस्प्ले ऑल द प्रोडक्ट्स दैट विल बी इंस्टॉल नाउ क्लिक ऑन एग्जीक्यूट बटन टू डाउनलोड एंड इंस्टॉल ऑल द कंपोनेंट्स आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग ऑल द इंस्टॉलेशन क्लिक ऑन नेक्स्ट बटन दिस विल ओपन प्रोडक्ट कॉन्फिग्रेशन विजार्ड इन दिस विजार्ड we will walk through a configuration wizard for each of the component or product here you can cancel at any point if you wish to leave this wizard without configuration all the products click on next button now type and networking wizard will display here you can configure configure server so to configure server there is a drop down so select development computer from config type and from the connectivity tab select tcp ip there are some chat box or radio buttons you can select tcp ip from there and set port to 3306 and now click on next button for next wizard so this is new wizard this is authentication method wizard in authentication method wizard you select authentication method so here you select use strong password encryption for authentication it is secure and after selecting this you can click on next button to continue now this is new wizard and this is accounts and roles wizard in this wizard user need to set root account password you can add user from this skin also after setting password click on next button to continue now this is new wizard this is windows service wizard from this wizard you can configure the windows service to start the server keep the default setup as in the page after this click on next button to continue now this is server file permission wizard uh, in this uh, wizard my sql installer can secure the server's data directory by updating the permission of files and folders located at c program data mysql slash mysql server and data now from this screen select the first option which grant full access for administrator group only click on next button to continue this is apply configuration screen to apply this configuration click on next installer will apply and update all the configuration mentioned here automatically after executing click on finish button after click on finish product configuration wizard will open and here you can see that the product configuration is completed here you can walk through a configuration wizard for each of the products you can cancel at any point if you want to leave this wizard without configuration keep the default setting and click on next button next button to complete mysql package installation in this next wizard you can choose to configure the router click finish and then click on the next button to continue now this is connect to server wizard this is very important here we can test our connection in this screen you can connect server type uh, type in the root 
uh, password uh, as you set previously and uh, click the check button to check if the connection is successful or not when we uh, when you click on check button it will connect to the database after successful connection click on next button to continue now you can see in this screen uh, your connection is successfully connected you are connected to the server successfully this is another apply a configuration wizard to apply all the configuration here click on execute button after executing all the configuration it will automatically apply all the configuration to the system after <coughs> after this click on finish button to continue now your installation is complete click on finish button so learner here you learn how to install mysql step by step i hope this is very easy to install so i i can say you can install mysql in your machine very easily so learner now in this slide uh, you will learn how to run java server page using tomcat server so before running the tomcat server uh, gsp page using tomcat server first you need to understand how to install tomcat server so in this lecture i will not discuss how to install tomcat server we will discuss uh, how to install tomcat server in later videos now i will prepare a dynamic project here a web project uh, to run gsp uh, using tomcat server so first you need to create a dynamic web project so uh, open eclipse and then open file menu then you can go to new button and after that you can select dynamic web project after this new window will pop up uh, for project here you will fill all mandatory fields like project name and you also need to select target run time target run time which tomcat server server you want to use here after this select dynamic web module version and then select configuration for tomcat server we can modify the configuration as well after this click on finish after click on finish it will display project structure as shown in figure now we need to add new gsp page uh, to run uh, on the tomcat server so click on uh, click right click on project name and uh, select project at test click new and select gsp page write code in gsp file uh, you want to run you can also write a code welcome to gsp and compile it so to run gsp we are using tomcat server here so how we use tomcat server right click on project name click on run as and then click on run on server you can select server and click on finish button it will open your gsp page in browser i hope you understand how we run gsp uh, with tomcat server so learner here uh, we will discuss outcomes of this lecture so learning outcome of this lecture is to understand why we use database and why database required and what is mysql i hope you are also able to install mysql in your machine and you also understand how to run gsp page in eclipse using tomcat server so learner in next lecture you will learn about how to create tables using gsp how to access database tables and how we create table relations in database and how we fetch data from database to display on gsp pages thank you